Oh, look at this. Is, uh, this bracket is being held on by a cylinder head bolt. Which bracket? I'm not going to take that out. It's separated, all right? Oh, yeah. I would just bend it. Yeah. Instead. Pretty fine. But I gotta get this Christmas tree out. Did you really out. able to get that out or no? I haven't even tried that yet. What? Take a break, man. What the fuck? What? I mean, what the if, fuck? I, if, if I remember where what goes. All this shit. Mm, no. Uh, that's what the YouTube videos are for. Probably not these videos because we're a bunch of people that don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Anyway. Just ripping stuff back. You know, it's all gonna go back together the same anyways. Yeah, right. The new motor will be complete. There'll be nothing to yeah, do but drop it right in. Tell them it comes with a rad too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the way, this is a Ford 4.0 motor. Never ripped it out. We're doing a butcher job, but probably will never see the light of another vehicle again. See, here's an interesting looking plug. Where's that? How the hell does that one come out? Which one? There's a plug inside the manifold. So how does this work? You can't even reach it. Hey, yeah, just take this thing off. Then you can yank all that crap off. You gotta take this off too. All right, grab that and yank it off. It's one of those Christmas tree things. Is it? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm recording at the same time. All right. All right, I'm shutting the video off. My fingers are in there. I'll come back to the video after. There. No. Hey, I'm not going back to the video. How does this come off? What are you doing? Just take this whole thing off. Oh, it's part of the wiring harness. No, oh, here it goes. Did you get it? Pulls out. Oh. I was going to say you can take it off after we take this whole thing off. Hey, look, it's just a. Gone. Yeah, well, in order to take this part off, you're going to have to take this off to get out this crap down here. Oh, I got to go back to work. That's the business right there where I should be working and making money right now, but... Alright. Put it in there. Yeah, I'll put it in there. It looks like the right size. Soon find out. They make those a metric or standard? Does it work? Is that uh, that one, is it? You no, know what? I think it's the next one up. Oh, it's this one though. That just seems too big. Though. What number is that? Right. It does look quite a bit bigger. Yeah, it does. You're not in the sequence here. Yeah. Well. Probably have here, I got some here. Does it work? Too big? Well, perfect, actually. Is it? I think so. Good. You got 25 seconds to get that whole thing on. Fuck, look at that. It's just nothing. Good. This is nothing holding Do the next on. one, the next one, the next one. I wonder if it matters if you do them in a... No, because there are little seals under there. Dude. Little seal kit. So, I'll just... Just loosen them all. Just loosen them? Yeah. Look at that. Just nothing. You can always do it with a screwdriver. Yeah, because I saw the... Uh, Another YouTube video there, and the guy was putting little rubber uh, things in, in here, little, which we'll figure out. By the way, I don't know if I said this before, but I'll say it again on this YouTube video. I am not a mechanic, and he's definitely not a mechanic. But, uh. We're not no one! No. Sam is not a mechanic there, and I am not a mechanic. I do photo restoration, custom framing, and um, this is just a. Well, hey, this is a way to save money and uh, not have to buy a brand new motor. Uh, I need a light. I, don't I can't light. see the one in the back. 
Alright, where's the light? On the wheelbarrow. Turn this. The wheelbarrow. On the oh. lip of the wheelbarrow. The lip. The wheelbarrow, look. It's right in front of your knee. Oh, look at that. Right there. Customer. Should be. There's one here too, eh? Right there. I got it. Did you get that one? I got the front one. I got There should be another one there. There should be one in the end. It's supposed to be three on each side or four on each side? Oh, if it's three, I got them, but I, I think there's one more. There's one there, one there, and one here. Probably be another one, yep. Yeah. And one there. See? We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yes. Is it getting hot yet? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. Might as well take that one right out. Yeah. Alright. Turn the video off. We'll come back when this thing is off. Yeah, battery's gonna die on the phone. Uh, Look at that. It's fucking nothing holds it in no, place. No, it's just little tiny wow. gaskets. I thought it'd be stuck or something. No. I'll show you when you flip it over. That's it? That's it, yeah. No wonder he said to get it out. Really, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Well, gonna replace the seals out. That wall. Oh, look at these things open. Huh? You won't let go? Oh, you could take it off, but these these hoses are still attached. I asked them about that. Oh yeah, they might they might just come across it or something. Lift it up and out. Not to grab the back end though. Pull the whole thing out. Oh, that's out. Well, you should be able to take it right off though. Why well, you gonna have to undo those those little hoses, I guess. All right. But is this hose? Uh, It'd be easier to undo these ones then. I think. Was this hanging There's there? Some on that side too. Yeah, you're gonna have to undo them from that side. This side? Yeah, because you can't get in behind the motor there. All right, turn the video off. <laughs> Boom! Well, that's about it. Some fucking piece of. You can right, wash that with a car wash hose. Oh, Make it all clean should. inside. I should get it done. Yeah, can't hurt. Now yeah, we'll find out when we put it back on the new motor. Here is the motor. Hey, where's those seals on the bottom? Those little rubber things? Yeah, see right there. Well, to change an injector, that would be hell. Because you'd have to undo these. Right. And then the injectors. I guess they just, there's nothing holding them except this rail. I guess so. That's oh. what I'm guessing. And these. And this is, this is gonna come off here. Oh, can you take that off? Hold that off. Yeah, so I got that on video. Oh, look at here's the, look at how it just goes all the way over. Is that, what is that? That's somewhere. Fuck, where does this go? <laughs> you disconnected that somewhere. Yeah, I did. Uh, I think that goes somewhere. I have it on video. Alright. Or I have a picture of it. Or I don't. But you know what? We don't need it because the other motor is going to go in there and all this stuff is going to magically go in there and start it up. It's as good as, good as gold. Yeah, right. Well, this is all got to be on. Well, it looks like the clip's already busted on this one. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, I just pressed it. Good. Hey. So that's off. And then that's we just off. got the one more and that's it. Yeah, it looks like it's this is zip tied. Oh no. Yeah, it's zip tied right Is it? Yeah. Cut the zip tie. But then it goes down to that stupid uh, timing thing. Which is, uh... Hey, where does this one go? Where's that just... Where does that go? Which one? This one. This is in there. Oh, that looks like a ground. Look at that. It's inside the engine. Let's do this. Is another one of four three ideas. Oh, 
fuck are you going to get that off? Like, I'm not undoing this. It's fucking under tension, man. Special Ford tool. <laughs> More than likely. So, is there a way of getting that, uh, freaking part of the wiring harness, too? No. Holy fuck, there's more shit. Where's that from? Where's that go? Well, that's part of the heater. Oh, that's not a good thing, huh? Oh, actually, you do have to undo it, because that goes into the firewall, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's all here. Yeah, but this is attached to the motor here. Oh, I was going to... Oh, no, is that... Oh, that's... Yeah, right. You can lift it out with the motor. Right. But look at here. How am I going to get... Wrench. I don't know. Did you get that clip off? Mm. You should look that up to see how it takes it. It looks pretty fancy. I don't want to break it. That's very important. I'll ask Glenn. Mm. What are you doing? Tightening? Putting it back on. Is it just the two bolts or three? Three, but look. Yeah. How, are you, how are you supposed to? This thing, how, what do you do? I'll have to get in there with a wrench. After that, then I just have to disconnect the uh, transmission. <sighs> Pull that uh, thing up and let it dry for tonight, and then tomorrow after work, I'll. Uh, you can't do it. Uh, look, you better have like uh, someone nearby. <laughs> Well, you better have someone nearby. Oh, well, get Andy or Curtis, you know, from uh, <sighs> ToxicRedneck.com to give me a hand there, you know. There's a plug, Curtis, Andy. Better come out. Try. Anyways. Friggin' the friggin'. Okay, just, if you just get that plug off, then it looks like a reverse Christmas tree on here. It's zip tied to another. Is it? You should be able to yank that right out then. It's nowhere to reach. Uh -huh. to He's a screwdriver. Yeah, I tried. Did you? No, this way. This way. This way. Yeah. I got one under here. Look, I'm trying to go this way. Here, let me see that. Let me see. Maybe two screwdrivers. I'm trying to. Oh, yeah, there's nothing to leverage. No, nowhere to leverage it. Yeah, frick it. Yeah. Oh, oh man. It's gotta come out sideways. Alright, turn the video off. We're going to pull this off, so you gotta squeeze the bottom there. Look at the car wash soap. Look at that grease, man. Yeah, eh? Car wash soap. Clean? No. No, you're gonna have to spray wash it. Spray wash it, Sam. No! Why not? Buzz! What the hell? Well, get your chained up and yank her out here. Try it all. Yeah, you better ask him where you can chain it up. He said, uh, you could possibly chain it there. And in the back. Oh. Yeah. oh. You can't just chain it from the front. How are we gonna get that out of there? 